they are trying to ban Maridon in the Ubers tier. They're calling it too overpowered and they're holding a suspect test to try and figure out whether or not it should be banned. I'm going to be trying to qualify in that suspect test and put my vote in to see if Maridon is banworthy. But first, I have to find out if I actually think it's banworthy, and for that I'll have to play my 40 to 50 games on the ladder to figure out how I feel about it and whether or not I think it's broken. Also of interest, they had to decide which one to suspect first, either Last Respects or Maridon. And it was actually a dead tie 4 to 4 between the two, and they, en and they ended up picking Maridon as the Pokemon to do first, and presumably Last Respects would be next, because you can't really do two variables at the same time. That's the general idea. Let's get into it. We're going to be laddering on a new alt and we're going to try and get to, well, let me check the results. We need to get, we need to play anywhere from 30 to 50 games at an 80 GXC, which is probably the minimum competency level. If you have 80, I think you're okay at the game. If you don't have an 80 GXC, you're probably not good enough. So this is pretty reasonable from my point of view, but let's get into it. All right, we're in. We have to start on a new account and hopefully because you can't see my name, I get a lot more salty people in the in the game uh, but in any case the teams I'm using will be in the description I'm planning on rotating a couple of teams we're starting off with Basque Legion webs a very powerful threat now I like Rabombi to get sticky web up I don't think it's sticky webs too well into Glamora this is not really a great team overall uh, let's just lead Rabombi anyway into Glamora yeah we can stun spore I can't get poisoned by the um, mortal spin for example because I have Stunspore. They're pretty low on ladder. We'll see if they mortal spin predicting Sticky Web here. They do. That's fine. No webs up, but this is not a challenging team, so I'm not even that bothered by it. Get an Earthquake off here. Just keep it, keep it, keep it running. Earthquake. That, did that protect? Why was that faster? That protected, I think. Well, Ice Beam. Okay. Keep it, keep it to one layer at most. Maybe instead of leading Rebombi, even though I knew there was a Glamora, I should have been a little more careful. But when I saw the uh, non Ubers team, I wasn't really concerned. They go to Dondozo, which cannot take a Maridon. Even Whimsicott cannot take Maridon. That is a level 1 Whimsicott. I just noticed that is a level 1 Whimsicott. Okay, well, this has to be Terra Ground, maybe. That is a level 1 Whimsicott, so I do have ideas. I think I can taunt it, but okay, Dondozo down. Whimsicott probably coming in. I'll taunt it. I believe Sunsteel Strike goes through a lot, probably. Taunt. And we U-turn, they're going to like Endeavor, for example. Yeah, so Maridon's going to be pretty broken this game, but that doesn't really matter. So we do get kind of walled by Skeledurge. I don't think they stay in here, but because Scale Shot can't can two it KO if you they stayed in. Okay, Scale Shot can two it KO Skeledurge. Okay. Iron Defense. I beat this one v one if I Swords Dance. Flare Blitz already does fifty to sixty. I hate it when the low ladder games take forever, because usually you want to be speeding through low ladder in, you know, a couple of minutes you want to be just racking up wins, so this game will take a little longer than I would have hoped. They, yep, yeah. and it's not like it's a challenging game, they're just staying in and dying to everything, but it is what it is. We're at a low enough HP now where Whimsicott can't even come in, so it'll be Skeledurge. I'll get my scale shots off. I believe, does Whimsicott even, okay, they go to Whimsicott, but they can't heal enough from me. Oh, I guess that's fine too. Now we go back to Maridon, taunt, and then U-turn, and then no attacking moves from Whimsicott, basically. For some reason, I thought it had Endeavor. I, I, I mixed up my level 1 strategies. That's Electro Drift. They probably have to struggle, which is why they stayed in last time? Yeah, that's why. Okay. Struggle. Two more Pokemon. Let's keep going. They go to Annihilate, which takes 53 from Electro Drift. But I'll just play it smooth and go Necrozma. Rage Fist won't be doing a lot, and Photon Geyser ignores Unaware. So this is really comfortable. And with the Photon Geyser, even if they tear out of it, they're still weak to Maridon, so I'm always happy. That's going to faint. Skeledurge is going to faint right after. And the general idea, Maridon was pretty good this game, but this was not a good team. The general idea with Maridon is that it is powerful because of the all the modifiers, right? Electro Drift and Hadron Engine, it's just way too strong, way too fast. Do we get the KO1 immediately? Yep, there we go. GG, we move up. I should probably register the account. I'll do that now in fact. All right, some more adventures in low ladder this time versus a team with an Ampharos, which is wow. So we can't get Sacred Fire burnt here because of the ability Shield Dust, which is very convenient. Here we go, Light Screen. Rubambi can't do anything anyway, just gonna get a very, well, maybe I won't get it, but I want a Stun Spore. Look, they're stalled, they're losing Reflect turns here, which is great. 
Sacred Fire can't burn me. How do I want to play it? I have to be careful. I'm thinking it's a little it's a little early for Basque Legion. Is Terra Fire right on time? I think I don't need to keep Rabombi alive here. So I'm just gonna just get damage. Very little damage, but I'm mainly fainting for Maridon. Now we go to Maridon. Do I want a U-turn? They're not they don't do anything to Maridon. Well, I, I'm too low ladder to be predicting, to be honest. This is not uh, good stuff for me. Arceus ground kind of wins, so I don't want to switch it in on a Sacred Fire here. I'm going to go Karidon. If I get burned, I get burned, but it's fine because I wasn't going to beat Primarina. 36, no burn, lucky me. And now they're running low on light screen stuff. Here we go, 41. I guess I will Electro Drift this time. 72, light screen, burn, no burn. I got lucky with burns, to be honest, but we have a Draco into, well, they go Ursa Luna. They run out of terrain. Draco to 75 to 80 here. I'm thinking I just get rid of Ursaluna now because then Basque Legion wins completely. That's about right. We always Draco here. And there's nothing that can stop the late game Basque Legion. The game is effectively over already. And that's kind of the thing with Basque Legion, who's another uh, top Pokemon in the tier. You won't often see that, you know, just raw 6 0 sweep at the end. You won't see that too often. But the potential it has to do that makes the early game very constricting. And if you make a mistake, the game's already over, which they're never going to beat Basque. I mean, they had Ampharos, right? So it's not like a, you know, a hard fought battle, but they were just ne they're never going to beat Basque Legion. They'll, they have to rely on maybe a random Terra normal. Terra ground just picks up Primarina, almost picks up Primarina, puts it into Torrent range. That was a little unexpected. That was, I believe, very likely to get the KO there. Now what? They go to Ogre Pond. That can't do anything. If it's going to tear a fire, it gets worse. So I'm just going to Raw Earthquake again. 85. Counter? That, that's physically defensive with Counter. Okay. But now we go to Coridon and just way too much power just coming into all these Pokemon. And Basque Legion cleans up at the very end. Unless they have, you know, Terra Normal Ampharos. Need Scale Shot here. They have Dazzling Gleam probably. We're doing a lot of attack, a lot of damage here. 5 hit into D Gleam probably. Or Thunder Wave Dodge, we take that. Uh, scale Shot, I'm okay with uh, missing chances. I don't want to get Static, though. Static would be the most annoying thing. Right, let's keep going. Okay, one, two. Guaranteed. Now, Jirachi faints, Ursa Luna faints. And you can kind of see the power difference of how Uber Pokemon can destroy regular Pokemon. Like, just so much raw damage being output every single turn. And that's kind of the Uber's metagame. Right? Obviously, it's nothing new to expect that to happen. But, okay. We Flare Blitz to Guaranteed. If they're Terra Ghost, we don't want to low kick. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Let's just get the knockout. There we go. Let's keep going. All right. We have... Well, this is better. They actually have Legendary Pokemon this time, but they're the bad Legendary Pokemon like Terrapagos. Now, unfortunately, Ter Terrapagos can Rapid Spin, so I'll have to be careful. But overall, it should be fine. They're probably in a, uh, an Aurora Veil vale strategy with Ninetales Alola. Yep. Let's Sticky Web first. Guarantee we get that up. They might Encore here. No, they Veil. That's good too. We can Stun Spore. That keeps a big threat on everything. If they go to Terrapagos early, I have to think they want a Rapid Spin. They go to Curum. Okay. Turbo Blaze. Paralyzed. Okay, that's good. That is no longer a threat at all. And I have Veil up for presumably all of their Pokemon. I'll just get raw damage. I'm okay with losing Rebombi. 31. Blizzard. Okay. Leftovers. Okay. Veil is going to be annoying, but I'll keep it in front of me with Draco... Maridon with Taunt and yep now we go Maridon. Draco Oko and if they go to anything I want to have that Taunt U-turn idea. So if they go to Necrozma to Calm Mind I'll have the Taunt U-turn idea. If they go to hmm if they go to Terrapagos I actually U-turn into Basque Legion so they can't Rapid Spin. That's slightly different. Okay we'll remove the Terra Shell too when we do it. Now that was not a eight turn veil. They Stealth Rock. Is this a defensive Terrapagos, maybe? Well, it can't damage me. I'm just going to get Wave Crash to break the Terra Shell, because the Terra Shell came back after Leftovers. Okay, is that Toxic? Stealth Rock Protect. Probably Toxic. And then Terra Star Storm. But if it's Terra Star Storm and Toxic, maybe I just go Necrozma then. Necrozma, they go to Ogre Pond. Now, I take on Ogre Pond very comfortably. I Dragon Dance, I Photon Geyser. Ogre Pond can't do a lot of damage to me. Yeah, the Life Orb is going to be key here. A lot of people expect weakness policy on Necrozma because it synergizes well with Prism Armor, but not here. Now we just raw damage. We do get the one hit KO on everything except for Necrozma. 
Okay, th that's gone. Terrapagos might be the only Basque Legion counter, but the way it's switched out makes me think it can't actually touch me. I'm not sure. Earthquake for damage, break the... Uh... Oh no, there's nothing to break. I confused it with Lunala. The 65 raw. Okay, now we go to Maridon. Untouched. And I, it belie I believe it threatens one hit KOs on everything. Maybe not one hit KO, but at least... Yeah, not even a one hit KO to be honest, but it threatens good damage. It one hit KO Necrozma here. One hit KO or Shifu, two hit KO, nine tails, and two hit KO on Terrapic. And then after you deal with Maridon, you also have to deal with Karidon, which you don't have an answer for. So that's that's kind of like the big three, the Basque Legion, Karidon, Maridon combo. They put so much attacking pressure on a team that how do you deal with all three? You know, if you try to use Terrapagos for Basque Legion, well, first of all, Terrapagos isn't a great Pokemon, but it's going to put so much pressure from all the other stuff that you can't do anything about it. My guess is that this doesn't have an attacking move that can hit Basque Legion. Okay. Gyro Ball. Okay. Well, now we wanted KO Terrapagos, I believe. Maybe. No, no, they're maximum. Yeah, they're literally maximum uh, special defense, so we don't get the KO, but they... Like, the difference is we have the raw attacking power of a Deoxys attack, but we also have usable defense. That's kind of the thing. Usually you expect this, you know, high risk, high reward um, trade-off, but there is no trade-off here. You just output the same amount of damage as Deoxys attack, but you also have the defense of a, you know, normal Uber's Pokemon. Critical hit obviously didn't matter. They go to Ninetales. Let's just U-turn into Coridon to stop Veil. It doesn't matter. It's already won. But Coridon in, Veil fails, Flare Blitz one hit KO, and let's keep moving on. Why are you wasting time with Protect? I just want to move on to the next game. And they left so that I have to wait 60 seconds for this to finish. All right, into game four, and we're fighting Smeargle, okay? I want to lead Coridon because I want Scale Shot, the multi-hit move, to rip it apart. I don't want to play games with, you know, Spore and maybe their own Sticky Web. Yeah, we'll just rip it up with Scale Shot. One of the few times you don't lead Rubombi. That's funny. You know, the funny thing right now is that they are a higher rating than me on the ladder. I'm waiting for this game to finish while they uh, left. They go to Spectrier. I literally outspeed and knock you out. No, no, no. What are you doing? No, that's not right. Okay. You know, you have to play through the... Oh, that's a finally. We finally get a quick game. They forfeited immediately. Let's keep going. And this game is also wrapping up. They do lose the game, so we get the inactivity win over here. All right. Finally, something that kind of looks like a real team. It's not completely real. There's a Petra Runt, and I believe Extra Drill's not great, but it matches up well into Rebombi, so I, and even Maridon, kind of, but presumably that's why. Now, I would have to think you lead Extra Drill for Rebombi. I'm gonna go Coridon. Yep, there we go. Now, how do I play it? Let's go Low Kick for now. They go to Petra Runt immediately. Okay. Well, I go Rebombi now, because I can't get poisoned by their... A malignant chain. We get Sticky Web up and we have we have Bascu Legion to do Bascu Legion things like block rapid spin from extra drill. We'll go to Arceus Ground. They don't have a ground immunity. By the looks of it, maybe they have to Terra, but Malignant Chain, thank God. If I had to deal with confusion in low ladder, I would be not very happy. Now they do have Terra Flying. Okay. Now Ice Beam, I believe well, first of all, now they're weak to Maridon, but I do have Ice Beam and Stone Edge. Do I believe that's physically defensive? That Earthquake should have done a lot more than it did. I'm gonna Stone Edge. Well, thanks for nothing, Arceus. You should be beating a Petra Runt very comfortably, okay? I'm just gonna go Maridon. I'm, I'm tired of Arceus not doing anything. I want the ground attacks to hit the other Pokemon. That did a lot, and I get poisoned and confused. Uh, let's Draco into Extra Drill here. Arceus normal, okay. 67, that's good. I believe Necrozma handles. The fact that they used up their Terra that early is good for me. Let's go to Necrozma. Yep. And it could have Earthquake. Do I care about that or do I just raw Dragon Dance here? Let's Dragon Dance. Okay. Now, they might not extreme speed because of the threat of Morning Sun. I mean, I'm low ladder, so I don't know what to expect. But the threat of Morning Sun is not going to be... It's going to be too much. I don't think they should e-speed into me, basically, is what I'm trying to say. We'll get our Photon Geysers in. There we go. Now, the, the key reason... Now, I believe that's going to be Focus Sash. It has to be. But, yeah, it is Focus Sash. The key reason is removing Basque Legion for... Uh, removing Arceus Normal for Basque Legion is tough now. Photon Geyser should hit everything. Okay. Maridon in the game? Yeah, let's go Maridon. I believe they lead Karidon into me, and I'll have to play games with Draco. They lead Kyogre, and I'm going to farm with Electro Drift. But it's Choice Scarf Karidon. Uh, Kyogre. Now, do I win immediately, or do I have to... 
take my time. I have 200 base power on Basque Legion. I believe that should be enough, depending on the Petrarund idea. Depending on the Petrarund, I don't know exactly. I will go Basque Legion. Get the agility off, and we should be threatening 200, 300 base power attacks into everything now. Think about that, 300 base power. 300 base power. Yep, there we go. And I believe it's over. I don't think any of these three Pokemon can handle it. Ooh, Petrarunt. Not bad. Now Coridon wins, Basque Legion wins, but impressive showing from Petrarunt here. Yep, there we go. And we always win with, yep. Even if that didn't KO, we always won with Coridon because it could Terra. Let's keep going. We're 11, 63, 5 and 0. We need 30 to 50 games to qualify. Okay, another team that looks real, but they have a Regieleki, which is decidedly not real. It doesn't actually um, do anything in Ubers. Now, I guess it does one thing. It makes my life annoying with Rapid Spin. The idea presumably is double electric spam, but when you have a ground type, it'll be trickier. You're really banking on Maridon, you know, pulling its weight and actually removing the ground type. I suppose it could also be Terra Ice is the idea, but it's just really not that great in Ubers. Okay, that is painful. Okay. Well, if they Terra Ice, they Terra Ice. I'm not- I'll have to sacrifice Arceus and go Necrozma right after. I'm- if they Terra Ice, they Terra Ice. I'm fine with that. Because I do have Terra Ground on Basque Legion late game, if I want to be able to get that agility win off. They go Mirai- okay, that's good. So they probably don't have Terra Ice, or they didn't want to use it for whatever reason. Now, what do I do here? Do I just remove Coridon? I don't know if it's Choice Scarf? Okay, I know it's a forfeit. Okay, let's keep going. Not sure why they forfeited, but again, we're- we're in the- we're at rock bottom. We have to climb our way up to get the meaningful games. All right, another team that is almost real in that they have, you know, legendary Pokemon, but they also have Pokemon that are not that great. No matter what, well, I mean, tidy up mouse hold is going to be annoying. Okay. Oh, especially with uh, that multi-hit move. I'm going to stun Spore. I hope I don't faint here. Okay. Basque Legion can't even block the attack. I think I'm going to have to play a little differently here. I'm just going to go raw Basque Legion. Okay, got a little lucky. Wave Crash is a 1-hit KO. They shouldn't stay in here, so I'm gonna go back to Rabombi. Okay, maybe they will stay in there. That's fine with me. Okay, well, yep, I don't know what they were doing. Obviously, the triple para was incredibly lucky, but even then, I don't know what they were doing. Now, uh, Arceus Ground, I don't need to Terra Ground yet. If they Draco, they Draco. They Calm Mind. I have Earthquake, they probably have Terra, but they kind of wasted Miraidon. Okay. To their In their defense, they did deny Sticky Web, but now they go to another Pokemon that loses to Ground? Okay, now I'm... Earthquaking through. And they don't have a priority. Oh, they do have priority. I've never seen that before. We'll go over Bombi, we'll get Sticky Web up, and then we're gonna get hit by E Speed, and I'm fine. Rabombi's job is only Sticky Web. You're very okay, generally speaking, with fainting there, because it doesn't matter. Flare Blitz, and Coridon is breaking through now. Espatra? Terra Fire. One hit KOs Espatra, and I'm gonna go for that. Now, one of these Pokemon are gonna get hit. If they hard Eternatus on Flare Blitz, they take a lot of chip damage, and Miraidon wins anyway. They can't- the Sticky Web is pulling a lot of weight. Terra Stellar? Okay. And Miraidon will Draco into Eternatus for the 90% chance to win. If it doesn't work out, Necrozma wins anyway. Well, guess we have to use Necrozma here. Photon- I guess technically if it was like Agility- if it was Agility Meteor Beam, it could have won by dodging Draco over and over. So I could have played that a little better by going Necrozma first but never punished, and we'll keep, we'll keep going. All right, we're fighting a- we're fighting finally a good team. It's like a sticky web team, but they have a- they have a golden go to block hazards. Typically, basically, Ubers doesn't have a lot of defog. Like, the only Ubers defogger is Giratina. So typically, if somebody's using a, you know, a worse Pokemon in the Ubers tier to handle def- to handle sticky web, you're okay with that because it's like a six on five. So typically, you don't need golden go. Now, I'm actually- pretty well matched up into Sticky Web because I have heavy duty boots on one, two, two of my Pokemon basically. Two of my Pokemon. I have loaded dice on the other scale shot, so I'm pretty fine. This is pure speed ties. Whoever comes out on top is, it's just whatever, but my Coridon has heavy duty boots to manage it later. I also have the idea of leading Maridon and taunting on turn one, but it's a little riskier because they could uh, predict that in Moonblast. This is generally the safest option with how you want to play it. One thing to note is that Rubombi sometimes has Imprison, which blocks your opponent. So it's, you go for a speed tie and try and win like that. It's definitely an interesting idea. If you don't know what the move does, it's very uncommon. I don't think I've seen it well, too often, in fact. But hey, they go for the immediate paralysis. I'm going to just raw Moonblast. Yeah, I'm just going to raw Moonblast. Okay. They go to Basque Legion. This is an early Basque Legion. I'm, 
I'm fine with fainting here. Flip turn. Is that Scarf Basculegion? No, no, no. Like, is it banded? Like, typically you wouldn't want flip turn. They go to Arceus Dark. That is Coridon food, if I'm not wrong. And we're, we're kind of equalized in terms of the Sticky Web affecting us. So I want to get the advantage by getting the Scale Shot up. They could go Basque Legion on a Fighting type move, but then they don't do damage back to me. Um, are they going to go Golden Go on a Fighting type move, but then you die to Flare Blitz? Okay. Now I have to think they're going to play some game with Terra. But if they Terra, I'm pretty sure they don't even knock me out. So if they Terra here... Okay, they don't. Now Coridon's crashing through. I... Do they... Do they... Do you think they Terra Fairy? If they Terra Fairy here... Hmm, that's an interesting thing to think about. What if they Terra Fairy? Because that's not unrealistic, right? The Draco Draco... Everything's at 405, you want to be Terra Fairy? That's not unrealistic at all. Do I want to keep Coridon alive? It'll outspeed Arceus Dark late game. I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, I'm too low ladder to be thinking about, oh, will they Terra, Terra Fairy, right? That's not going to be something. Okay. All right, let's keep moving. All right, another team that's kind of real, but then also not really that real because they have uh, Ogre Pond and Urshifu. Cloudsire is actually okay, but the other Pokemon, Ogre Pond, Urshifu, and Lunala, I believe are not that great. Nothing to deny Sticky Web, it's going to get up, and then how do we attack? The typical, well, Maridon doesn't beat Clodzire, but it can taunt and then U-turn, and then it's a Clodzire, so it's not doing a lot of damage once it gets taunted. Coridon could probably be my best way to attack, but the Ho-Oh can be Terra Fairy. So it's actually a pretty standard defensive core of Ho-Oh Clodzire. But the problem are the other Pokemon. Agility? Oh no. Okay. Well, I do Meteor Beam, okay? I have to hit the Sun Spore now. This is getting dubious here. Okay. And now I pounce to make sure it can't agility out of the situation. Okay. okay. We've lowered its health down. Shadow Shield is broken. Now, how do I want to attack it? Lunala? I could go Coridon. It has a lower defense. So if I'm going to target it, it would be the defense stat. Do I go after it with Coridon or Arceus? Arceus kind of struggles into Ogre Pond. Hmm. I actually don't mind going Arceus here, in fact. The reason is because it doesn't threaten a 1-hit KO on Coridon with the Psychic-type move. It, well, it doesn't threaten that 1-hit KO on Arceus while it does threaten on Coridon. I would rather keep Coridon happy. Okay, 54. Uh, lucky Para there, obviously. Now, the dream situation is they go Ho-Oh, but very likely it's Ogre Pana. Okay, are they going to let me do it? Nine? Oh, that's tanky. And we dodge too, for good measure. Well, no reason not to do it again. Ice Beam Freeze, I guess, is more optimal if you want to do little damage into... Yeah, I'll just Ice Beam, okay? You are a Clodzire. You have to Terra to get out of here. Okay, and now Miraidon auto wins versus the final Pokemon. Go Miraidon, not doing enough. Electro Drift is a one hit KO. If they Terra Water, they become weak to Electric, but they get the special defense boost. I don't think it's worth it. I think you still faint. They go to Necrozma Duskmane. This is going to get two hit KO'd. They could run Terra Ground. Terra Ground Earthquake, but it's Rocky Helmet. Okay. Uh, it's interesting. It's one of the few special attacking moves that make contact. They go to Urshifu. Urshifu Dark. I don't need Arceus. I'm going to go to that because it loses to Ogre Pond anyway. Yep. And Coridon will beat all these Pokemon. Ooh, Swords Dance. Okay. We live anyway. Yeah, it's power of the 700 base stat legendary Pokemon. All right, we're at 1252. Let's keep going. All right, we're finally fighting a real team. Oh, and I'm looking at the rating difference. They are 1560, we are 1250, so a 300-point gap. Now, they're going to lead Glamora into Rabombi, presumably, so I have to anti-lead that. How do I anti-lead that? They leave on turn one, so this could be very good for me. They could also be leading uh, Grimmsnarl anyway. I have to think they're probably going to come back. They're going to be leading Grimmsnarl anyway. Do I just lead Arceus Ground for the double... I think I do lead Arceus Ground for the double Earthquake into Glamora. Yeah, they do rejoin, okay. Into Glamora, that's expected. Will... Ice Beam one time? Does it matter? No, it's Earthquake. I'm going to back myself to get Sticky Web up. Uh, let's keep it down to one, I think. Yeah, let's keep it down to one. Okay. Now, I'm going to back myself to get Sticky Web up later. And if we do that, it's going to be great. Okay, the Dragon Dance. They have Prankster Taunt. So I'll have to be careful about that with Rebombi. We're going to get Ice Beam off into... Uh, freeze Chance is basically what I, I wanted there. Because Earthquake's not going to do a lot of damage to anything. Ideally, Ice Beam into Crydon does a little more damage. I wonder what they go to. They go to Necrozma Dusk Main. Okay. Now, how do I go against that? Go to Maridon. They Swords Dance, but now I have a strong Electro Drift. I wonder, do they Terra Ground? Swords Dance is probably what? Trick Room, right? 75. It is Trick Room. I don't have 
priority on my team. Do I want to give up Maridon? I kind of want to get Sticky Web up for late game. The Grimmsnarl is annoying. Maybe I could have taunted, but I'm pretty sure Arceus Ground can live one attack. Surely, right? Maybe it can't. Do I have to stall out all the Trick Rune terms here? Or even Rabombi's Moonblast doesn't actually do enough, which is interesting. How do I want to stall these turns out, basically? I like the idea of late game Maridon. I'm going to go to Necrozma here. Yep, okay, we stalled out one turn with that. Do I give up Arceus Ground here? Because I have Terra Ground on Basque Legion, I'm very comfortable doing that. The Sunsteel striked, okay. Now we're going to get Sticky Web up as a late game investment for Basque Legion. Oh no, I took Hazard Damage. I forgot about... I, I forgot I wasn't Heavy Duty Boots here. I thought I had both Heavy Duty Boots and Focus Sash. Okay, well, here we go. All we need to do is weather the storm, and then Basque Legion can win late game with the Terra Ground on Maridon. That's all we need for it to, to get out of the bad situation here. We kind of got anti-led with uh, Glamora, then they played well to keep Rabombi off the field. We do faint. Yeah, I kind of see where this is going now. We're going to have to give up Rabombi and then uh, win later with the other Pokemon. On the bright side, Reflect is going to run out. And I guess we'll never know how this plays out because he loses to inactivity. He just took too long to make a move. He must have been planning out how to stop the Basculesian at the end because if it gets that agility up, it probably just dominates and goes for the win after that. So he probably had to try and figure that out, which unfortunately he timed out. Okay, we're finally getting into the realm of real teams. Not exactly real. I believe Zacian regular form is straight up bad, but into the realm of the real team. We'll go Rebombi here, get Sticky Web up. Let's take an early look at our GXC2. They go Karidon. We are 10-0 with a 76 GXC. We need to get to 80. 83 is better, but yeah. Now, I want Sticky Web up. I don't believe Karidon, the way they led Karidon, are they going to try and taunt a Rabombi here? No. Okay. Get Sticky Web up, and very importantly, we're, de we're denying Scale Shot too. Okay? I have to think it's Scarf Karidon. Typically, you're going to see Scarf on these builds a lot. Should I go Karidon? It's a speed tie if I go to it. But I do believe these tend to run Scarf. Worst case scenario, I win a speed tie. Or they win a speed tie. They Terra fired immediately. Okay. But now they're weak to Arceus Ground. So that's important to me to bait out the Terra for potential Terra normals for Basque Legion, Terra Grounds for Maridon. But annoying, to be honest. In like It's one of those things where you, you did go for the speed tie, so it's on you. But I just wish it didn't. Uh, they're going to extreme speed. I'm just going to... Um, get hit. My Terra Ground is going to be valuable for setting up on Maridon later. They are Arceus Normal confirmed. I think it's new to Generation 9 where you actually can tell the Arceus form on Team Preview. In the past, you couldn't tell which type it would be. So that's kind of something cool. Are they planning on Dragon Dancing here? Maybe they are. And these people are running out of time too. I don't know if, if there's something wrong with the ladder or what, because another person is about to time out here. They're not paid actors, um, and this was actually going to be a decent game to see if Basque Legion could win at the end or not. Uh, but we will take another uh, inactivity win, sure. We're fighting someone lower on the ladder than us, 1169, uh, but they actually have a decent team. Now, they're gonna have a little trouble with Basque Legion because um, only Ting Lu is their uh, defensive Pokemon. So we'll have to be careful around that. If I can, uh, so a really common idea is you overload Ting Lu. So Ting Lu has to take on Basque Legion and Maridon. You know, a couple Dracos and Ting Lu can't do both of them. It can only pick one. So you can kind of force them to take a lot of damage. They go Maridon. The way people lead Maridon makes me think this is Taunt U-Turn. Okay. Now, that is... Oh, do you think it's Scarf Karidon? Oh, am I... I mean, if my Sticky Web gets denied, I'm not too mad, but is that Scarf Karidon? It's not. Okay. Oh, they wanted Flying to be immune... They wanted Flying to be immune to Sticky Web, maybe. Is that the idea? I don't know if it makes the most sense over here. Sure. We'll stun Spore. You know, it could be Choice Specs. Is that the... Is that why? Maybe? It, it's Choice Specs. That's why they did what they did. Well, I don't... Well, this probably has Willow. If this has Willow, I'll have to be careful then. So the way it's looking to me, it looks like it's Specs Maridon, I think. So if it's Willow, then Terra, Fair, Terra Fire Karidon is my play. It is Willow. We dodge. Uh, a little unfortunate with the way Electric Terrain turned out there. Let's Taunt and then go Necrozma, okay? And if they go Ting Lu, we're going to get damage on it. That did a lot. The, the Arceus Fairy is going to be challenging. But I believe... The problem with Terra Fire... Karidon. Ooh, they... We outspeed. We outspeed, yeah. 
and Life Orb gave us the KO, so maybe they didn't expect us to have Life Orb. And if they go Ting Lu, oh, they don't know that Photon Geyser ignores unaware. And if I get my damage on Skeledurge, then Terra Fire Karidon wins the game. 75? I'm fine with that. I got the damage I wanted for Terra Fire Karidon to win. And they don't have they don't have Terrestrialization, so my Basque Legion's uh, Wave Crash does a lot into Ting Lu as well. They Earthquake. Now, how do I want to play it? I go Karidon. I don't think they have enough speed to even match me at all. Yep. And the Karidon show. All these attacking Pokemon stacking onto each other. They break the right points of the defense and then you go and win from there. There we go. I like it when the games are quick. When, like, typically when people lose, sometimes they take a couple of turns. And tournaments definitely take a couple of turns to last resort it. But ladder, just, you know, give me the win. 1294, okay. Now, they do have Giratina with Defog, so I'll have to be careful. Okay, Rabombi into Karidon. Are they going to taunt? No, they're not going to taunt because, you know, uh, Giratina for Defog. They wouldn't, you wouldn't risk your Karidon when you can Defog later anyway. Now, the early Terra there is surely a mistake because you, well, first of all, now you lose to Basque Legion. Last Respects will clean you up in the end game because you don't even have a Terra normal to work it out. I'm going to give up Rabombi, or do I want to... Play it later for defense. No, I'm, I'm okay with giving up Rabombi. They are not Scarf. Okay. Now this makes it annoying. Because if I go to Basque Legion, they can... I mean, if they go to Ar if I go to Arceus, they can have Giratina to defog. Uh, some variants of Arceus have Taunt, but I have Ice Beam instead of Taunt to hit Landorus, so that's not going to work out for me. Yeah, I'm going to go to Arceus Ground. We do live Karidon. I just want to remove Karidon. Playing the Speed Tie game with my own Dragon types is not a viable solution at all. They go to Ho-Oh. I have Stone Edge. I don't know if they care. Yep, they didn't care. Okay. Now they go to Giratina. They're going to get the Defog off, but that's actually going to be tricky because of the Zacian. That's the main idea. I do have Terra Fire Karidon, which makes things very comfortable. They Defog. That's expected. Okay. Now this should be a Willow. Yep. There we go. And that, that not being a guaranteed 1-hit KO is crazy. We got the 5 hit, which is a 50% chance to happen, but that not being guaranteed is Wow. They can't Terra. We guaranteed out speed, low kick for the job, and it should be over. Three Pokemon that lose to Karidon. Actually, I suppose if it's a really tanky Arceus Ground, they win. But the problem is Arceus Ground, you knock out Karidon, and then what? Basque Legion wins on you. We'll, we'll go for the... If we 5 hit, we knock it out. Oh, even with 5 hit, we wouldn't have knocked it out. That's funny. Crit? No. Okay. We faint there. I believe 150 into 225 is strong enough for these Pokemon. I believe that's true. I don't know the exact calculation though. I have not... I mean, I do have Wave Crash, which is kind of nice. I think a, perhaps a more prudent idea would be Dragon Dance Arceus Ground instead. Well, maybe wasn't that prudent, huh? Well, <laughs> the funny thing is it makes my last respect stronger, so I'm going to win anyway. But, well, unless I get frozen, right? Okay. No Terras. I'm immune to extreme speed and I'm faster than everything. Yep, and that is Basque Legion for you. Let's keep going. We're 1346, haven't lost a game yet. Okay, we're 1317, and I am actually scared now, because I do not know what to think of a team with Doug Trio. I presume Arena Trap isn't banned. Ditto, Ditto is a complicating factor. Now, I'm just, I don't want them to copy my Rabombi. I don't want them to rapid spin my Rabombi. This is what I'm doing now. We'll have to be really careful, uh, careful about Ditto. Okay, they, they do that. I'm actually pretty okay with what's happening now. You go to RC's Ghost. That took a lot of damage. I'm just going to go for it again. He had a feeling they might try that. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. But we'll have to be careful. We can Stone Edge. Right? Maybe? What does Bundle even do? I mean, surely it loses to Necrozma. But the issue is getting trapped. I'm going to Stone Edge. We faint Life Orb. Okay. I can Dragon Dance here. They probably sack Iron Treads if I had to guess. They want to sacrifice Iron Treads and then go Doug Trio. Yeah. If Ditto tries to copy me, I don't care too much. They go to Garganical. Are they going to Terrestrialize here? If they do, they do. 50. Salt Cured. I want Rubombi Sticky Web up. That's what I want more than anything. Doug Trio, they outspeed me. Okay. Let's just, let's get raw damage on. I hope it's not Scarf Doug Trio. It's Scarf Doug Trio. Let's try Necrozma then. Because we have Sticky Web support to help us out. And late game, our Basque Legion only becomes more and more threatening with the ter with the substitute on Salt Cure. Even with Garganacle's ability, it's not going to be able to hold on. 
Now this is a pure speed tie if Ditto comes in. Yeah, because of the speed drop. No, never mind. It ignores the speed drop. I miscalculated there. Now we go to Coridon and we flare blitz. Yeah, we always flare blitz into Ditto here. Even if they go Garganacle, it's fine. Low kick does 55. We don't want we want to be very careful with Ditto. Oh, that's perfect. I don't know why they did that, but they did, and they're gonna give it up. It also means Basque Legion won late game, because you can always substitute on Garganacle. Okay. You always tear a fire here, so you don't play games with scale shot. Yep. Alright. I it should be comfortable, but yeah, because Iron Bundle's affected by Sticky Web, we get out of a potentially bad situation. I thought the Ditto was gonna give us major problems, but we're fine. There we go. Electro Drift, they don't have Terra, and we should be winning here. There we go. Let's check our rank now. Are we close to getting requirements to vote? 14 and 0, 80 GXE. We need 83 GXE at 30 games to vote. Okay, this looks like kind of like a real team. Again, the, the regularization is bad, but otherwise, not that not that big a deal. There's five good Pokemon here, including the Defog Giratina, which I'm very annoyed by with my sticky web strategy, and even the Arceus normal can be annoying to Basque Legion. I'll have to pick that off early. The good thing is their ground type is Groudon, which is uh, low special defense so that Maridon can actually break through it with a well-timed Draco. I'll have to be really careful about managing Defog, and Terrestrialization of Giratina could be annoying, because if I try to hit with the Dragon move and it Terra Fairies, I get in trouble. Overall, interesting, I think we lead Rabombi. Now, they lead Arceus Normal, which they're going to double E-Speed, I always Sticky Web, or they do that, okay? Now... I can always stun Spore. Now, what I'm very happy about is if they give me an opening for Bascu Legion, that's obviously really good for me. So I think I want to stun Spore. I mean, I have to hit, which is annoying. Okay, we do hit that. Now it means we outspeed with Necrozma, we outspeed with Bascu Legion, get substitutes, it's all very good. Rebombi, no reason to keep you alive, we'll get hit. Hopefully full para. We don't get it, that's fine. Because now we go to Necrozma, we can Photon Geyser. Now, I'm interested here. Do they go to Giratina? No, they don't. 50, straight up, Shadow Claw. They Sword Stance again, that's not a good decision. They're gonna be able to defog though. But even though, yeah, we do get the knockout, they're gonna be able to defog, but even though they get the defog off, they lost their normal type Pokemon, so Basque Legion is very, very good. I don't think they have a Scarf Pokemon on their team. They will go hard right on here, on Willow or defog, either way. Oh, I forgot, it rem I forgot that it removes terrain. Whoops, well. In any case, will you turn out? Into what though? If it stayed in, is it gonna Willow or Dragon move? Maybe Dragon move. Go to Necrozma. Yep. Okay. Go back to Maridon on Willow. Now I'll have to be careful around that Zacian. They Willow here. Okay. Draco coming in. I can Electro Drift. I can Draco. Hmm. I'm gonna Electro. I'm gonna Draco. We don't remove Giratina, but we do a lot of damage to it. That did nothing to me. Now the funny thing is U-Turn doesn't KO Giratina here, so I'll have to be careful. What I don't want to do is I don't want to give up a Swords Dance to Zacian. That's what I don't want to happen. So I'm not going to Electro Drift and let Zacian come in. Willow is going to be a threat. I'm going to go Necro Necrozma here. The Draco, that's perfect for me. And critical hit's annoying, but not end of the world. Now, I'm going to get Willowed again, but I'm going to Photon Geyser. I'm just going to knock it out. I'm going to keep a Life Orb Necrozma in for maximum damage into whatever comes in after. Groudon is definitely not as threatening. If they go to Zacian, not very threatening either. They go to Kyogre, okay. I think I should be outspeeding. Okay, so that's Scarf Ice Beam by the looks of it, because that's the only reason I think you would water move there, is if you were Scarf and you wanted to deny access to Maridon, I think. Any, In any case, we have... I don't think we fainted enough Pokemon for Basque Legion to be the right Pokemon. I think we need a little bit more before we can go for it. Or maybe we can. Let's go to Basque Legion. That's Agility. We... Yep. That's not good enough. No! Oh, no, no, no. That is what Kyogre can do. What we could have done was we could have gotten the agility substitute off. Now we're in a lot of pain. Okay, they're going to have Maridon. Wake up. Okay, we'll go to Arceus Ground here. This is went from, an e from a really easy win into something we're going to have to struggle with now. Okay, that's not bad. We'll get our Dragon Dance off. We'll have a strong Earthquake. They go straight to Kyogre. The rain runs out. If it's modest, it'll outspeed me. I can't Terra out of it. Here we go. Okay, we live. That's good. We need Basque Legion to unfreeze. If it does, it wins the game. Or can I find a way to get Coridon? Ooh, Coridon can win. I get damage on the right Pokemon and Coridon can win the game. Um, 
They have Terrestrialization. Is that Scarf Maridon? That is a Scarf Maridon. Okay. Well, look, Basque Legion, you're going to have to do your job. You have to wake up. Come on. You just need, just need one more. I'm trusting you, Basque Legion. Come on. I'm trusting you. I really am trusting you here, but not getting the job done. <gasps> okay. There we go. Now, it's still tough. It is still incredibly tough, but at least it took him five turns to get out. Now what? I think we're going to have to dodge a Draco, probably. Look, I'm going to I'm gonna have to play the choke, basically. What they should do is they should always go Zacian to stop Scale Shot. They don't do it. Okay. Now it'll come down to the Miraidon, Karaidon speed tie. They should always go Zacian, Zacian to deny Scale Shot, which they didn't do. The, the problem is... Okay, so what I can do here, actually, I can Terra Fire, and then I live Draco. Most of the time. There's still a chance I faint to Draco. Here we go. Speed tie. Oh, they're Terra Fairy. Okay. Okay. I am Blazik Infant. It is my favorite Pokemon. Now, it's going to come down to a speed tie. The game will come down to speed ties, unfortunately. They should always go Zacian here uh, to take the Flare Blitz chip. And then they should have Draco there, to be honest. Dazzling Gleam wasn't right. Yeah, they do make the right play. Speed tie coming up. Okay. Oh, but the weather ran out. Oh, I forgot about the weather running out. Yeah, I don't win at all. F the five turn freeze on Basque Legion was a big one. Well, this is how I'm going to lose my first game then. Probably lose a lot of ELO too. Yeah, whatever. You know, it's bound to happen. You played 30, 40 games in a suspect run. You're going to lose one of them to Ice Beam Freeze, right? That's just uh, an eventuality. The important thing is not to start tilting once you lose your first game. Okay, we're fighting a fellow Rubombi gamer. We'll have to go for that. You always get Sticky Web up first. Uh, Moon Blaster, I think Stun Spore is fine. I guess it's unreliable, but we got it. Okay, easy. Okay. And though, though they're just pure speed ties and luck, it's whatever. The go, they go to RC is normal to start. I'm going to stun Spore if they try to get greedy. They don't, that's fine. Now we have a switch initiative, which means we can go to whatever Pokemon we want. Now, I could low kick. Or I could scale shot. But if they if they swords dance as I scale shot, I end up in trouble. I'm going to low kick. They go to Rayquaza. I could have done it. 34 is crazy damage. If I Terra, I think I have to go Necrozma here. Okay, Dragon Claw. Doing a lot. That's Life Orb. I mean, Earthquake's going to do a lot too, but I live the Earthquake. I'm just going to trade Rayquaza for Necrozma because um, Rayquaza being immune to Sticky Web is big. I do lose a Pokemon. Yeah, I do live that. But I do lose a Pokemon that could take on Arceus normal. So I have to be careful. Is it Arceus ground time? I think Maridon is my best Pokemon. Boots Maridon. Into Boots Maridon. Oh no, they're not Boots Maridon. Okay. So I'm threatening Draco. I'm threatening Draco and I outspeed. I think I'm going to U-turn to scout the Terra. Yep, there we go. Okay. The question is now what? I know a Draco is coming in. Do I maybe sacrifice Coridon and then go Arceus to Terra ground Earthquake stuff? I actually don't think that's a bad idea, but could it run into trouble? Nah, I think it's fine. I'm going to actually sacrifice Coridon here. Ooh, okay. They're Life Orb and they're not Draco Meteor. Now they've put themselves in range of dying to Electro Drift. Never mind. They live. Okay. Now we're in actual trouble because Basque Legion, it's going to have to try and do Basque Legion things now. They lead Kyogre. Okay. I'm Terra Ground. I don't have anything useful with Terra Ground. So let's attack here. Their Water Spout. Are they Choice Specs? Oh no. Okay. Well, do I have an out? Do I have a way out of this situation? Their Scarf? Oh, what are they doing with Scarf Kyogre on webs? I guess it makes sense, but yep. So I'm, I'm tilting now, where I've lost two games in a row. My GXC probably tanked too, so we're going to have to overcome that. Okay, we got, we're got we matching up into a kind of bad team. Like, none of these Pokemon are very good, most of them anyway. Do I just raw Moonblast? Focus Ash, okay. They don't knock me out, surely, right? Yeah, they don't knock me out. I'm just going to take my KO. One more Rapid Spin isn't good enough. Or do I Sticky Web? What do I want webs for? I want it for Zacian, so my Coridon Maridon outspeed. Yeah. I'm going to Sticky Web and then Hard Basque Legion. Or, hmm, maybe I don't even want to do that. Because they're pretty weak to Basque Legion. I'm just going to take my kill. I don't want to risk Basque Legion early. Okay, that, that's even better. Okay, they go to Zacian Crowned immediately. I always go Necrozma. I, I want Rubombi to Sticky Web later, I think. Let's Earthquake. Oh, okay, what are they doing? Oh, do I, do I have nothing to outspeed it now? Okay. Crunch, okay. Go to Coridon and we'll have to bait in the play rough. Okay, we dodged anyway, but we baited that in. Okay. Not comfortable, but at least we've made it out. Now, I think we're winning. 
We did have to give up the terrestrialization. Now a water move is gonna do a lot of damage. I'm just gonna take my damage on it. But it is Scarf Kyogre, okay? We're seeing a lot of Scar Scarf Kyogre, which I think is normal. Like it's a normal moveset. Not, you know, complaining about that. But we wanna get Sticky Web urgently. They Water Spout, okay? Now I'm gonna be put into Shadow Sneak range of Cerulege if they get a Swords Dance up, which is not ideal. If they go to Lugia. I wonder. You know, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try and get my Sticky Web up. Psy Shock, okay? Now, the, the Basque Legion angle. Does Lugia get Toxic? Learn Lugia Toxic. It can't. I think Basque Legion? Let's get something going. Okay. Aeroblast, okay? This is tricky now. This is... The reason it's tricky is because of Shadow Sneak on Cerulege. But I think we're fine. We'll pick up a KO here. I don't think they have a Terra Normal on their final two Pokemon. Maridon lives the Shadow Sneak. It should be able to, they go to Arceus Fighting. Okay, well, this is what they're gonna try and do. I'm gonna try and last respects my way through Arceus Fighting here. Okay, that's not good enough. Okay, so yeah, I think we're fine, okay? That didn't do enough, but it did do enough to put me in Shadow Sneak range. I'm going to, I hope it's not Focus Sash, okay? Well, I think Arceus should live the hit. Oh, they didn't have Shadow Sneak, okay. Wait, I outsp that was Adamant, okay. No, that actually makes sense. They were adamant and thought they would be fine. No, they thought that they didn't need Shadow Sneak if they're weak armor. Okay. All formats 1500, which is presumably what they're trying to do. Rebombi is an easy lead. Rebombi into Necrozma. I have Pounce to keep its speed low, so I'm not even worried about it. We'll always Sticky Web. They Stealth Rock. Okay. So this is a defensive Necrozma. I haven't, I haven't seen a defensive Necrozma uh, since the dark days of Gen 8. I actually want to keep Rubombi alive, so I have a Defog Sacrifice to Giratina. I got lucky with the Paralysis there, that's good. I don't... I think they should switch to Giratina. Yep, they do. Hit him for a cool 29, and now we have the Defog Sack, so they can't use uh, uh, Arceus to Defog. There we go. Now I have to start thinking about Terra Fairy Giratina, because presumably if I go to Coridon to Scale Shot you, you're going to have to make that play. Similarly, if I go to Maridon, you're going to have to make that play. I can try that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Maridon. I threaten Draco. So I'm hoping to bait the Terra. They go Tinglu. That's fine. Now they're taunted. U-turn for really not that much ship. Coridon time. Is it Arceus time maybe? Let's go to Arceus here. They Ruination. It's Leftovers Tinglu. I'm going to try and make them make a decision. Dragon Dance and then Stone Edge on Giratina. Okay. I can raw Earthquake damage. This is good because now things are in Basque Legion range. I'm going to Swords Dance. If they choose to stay in here or they Whirlwind, uh-oh. Well, now Basque Legion's in the game, which is bad. Getting This is not going as well as it could have been. I need to remove Ting Lu so I can start spamming Last Respects is the main idea. Okay. Spikes go up. It's kind of predictable. It's kind of predictable to low kick. Okay, 45 is good damage, even if it was predictable. Okay. Now, if they go Giratina, they're going to be Terra Fairing here. Here we go. Yes, got it. Terra Steel. Okay, that's good too. Now, we have raw power coming into everything. No Defog either. Zacian Crowned. I mean, with no Defog, this is comfortable. But I have to be not dumb about it. I know what I have to do. Flare Blitz here. Behemoth Blade. Does Do I faint to Wild Charge from Zacian? I do if that happens. I, I would faint to it. Yeah, I have it all planned out. They go to Ting Lu. I'm going to Draco into it. Okay, Ruination. Now I'm going to taunt it. And now the agility is on. No way to stop it. Skadoosh. That's going to feign. Everything's going to feign. Immune to extreme speed. They go straight to Ting Lu, which is not going to work. Oh, what if they're Focus Ash on Deoxys Attack? Nah, there's no way they're Focus Ash. Typically, you would run Life Orb. But it would make sense if you have Defog that you would Defog Stealth Rock for Focus Ash. But... I very much doubt Focus Ash is the idea. Yep, Coridon, no Terra Normals left. It's just a the 6-0 machine. There we go. Zacian Crowned, more like Zacian Fainted. And then, I hope they're not just playing with me for the Focus Ash. Yeah, it's not Focus Ash. I didn't think so. Let's keep going. We're in and we're versus kind of a stallier team with Pokemon like Gliscor and Toxapex. Okay, we'll see if they... Aw, oh, man, they really greeted. They really greeted and they let me have it, too. Unfortunate. It is a little ladder, though. Can't expect too much from them. 34. Spikes go up. I'm gonna go Arceus. I do have the, the tech of Ice Beam here. That doesn't even knock it out. That is 
uh, pathetic. We're gonna have to uh, keep it moving. Let's Stone Edge in case they try and get a little, you know, prediction reliant. Um, that is RC is normal. So my Basque Legion doesn't auto win. I'll have to be more uh, precise with how I play it. You know, this is low ladder, right? Relatively. So in theory, they shouldn't be giving up Glyscore at all because I need something to stop Miraidon's Electro Drift. So if I'm high ladder, I'm always Earthquaking here, but exactly. Now we have Miraidon ready to Electro Drift every single Pokemon in the, in the format. They have no immunity, so I can always Earthquake free of charge. I don't have to worry about making it predict. It's all very, very comfortable despite the early uh, situation. Always Earthquake. Heavy Duty Boots, Foul Play? No. I think Arceus is going to be more valuable than Rabombi. Give up Rabombi. They have Heavy Duty Boots. We should live every attack, so I'm going to Photon Geyser. Even Earth Earthquake would knock me out. Yep. And now, Basque Legion is an automatic win because they've given up the normal type Pokemon. The game's already decided. Okay, is that Scarf? That might be Scarf? Yeah, that is Scarf Coridon. It's too early to go for Basque Legion. It's a little bit too early. Not entirely too early, but only a little bit. Can okay, remove Coridon. Not extremely high value, but still okay to get it done. Because we can always farm these different Pokemon later. Okay, yep. They can Terra Fairy here, which would be bad. But they're, they're affected by Sticky Web. They're affected by Sticky Web. So Miraidon will outspeed it. Yep. And now we go Substitute on... Toxapex here because it cannot do any damage to Basque Legion. That's one of the biggest flaws of Toxapex. It doesn't do anything. Substitute and then win the game from there. I don't believe it's Terra Normal Miraidon, but even if it is affected by Sticky Web, it's not going to be a threat. There we go. Then we just Oko everything. There we go. Okay, we got the win. Let's keep going. Okay, a fellow Sticky Web user. Are they the exact same team as me? Maybe. No, they have Zacian. Okay. Yeah, we always Sticky Web. I think that's totally fine. And we want to get a Stun Sports risky to go for 75 on that. Okay. They're Trick Scarf. Um, interesting. I don't actually mind Scarf or Bombi, to be, to be honest. That's kind of funny, but I don't mind it. This probably has Stun Spore, which is annoying. Yeah, let's just Moonblast and get rid of the Focus Ash. That's actually <laughs> very annoying to deal with. Hopefully I don't get full parried. Okay, good. And we're going to start asking questions with our Miraidon. What are, what are you going to do versus Miraidon? You don't have a ground type Pokemon like me. You're going to have to Terrestrialize probably. You know, is Miraidon overpowered? I don't know. We'll see how they handle it here. They go to their own Miraidon, which is also heavy duty boots, which means we're going to have a bit of a showdown here. I have to think the Draco's coming in. I'm going to go Necrozma. I think it's better defensively in this context. Okay, Dragon Pulse? Okay. They are a speed time merchant. They were willing to go for it. And I just fainted. Just raw damage faint. I can't believe they're willing to go for speed tie like that. I guess maybe they didn't have other options because they are actually pretty weak to it. RC is normal affected by Sticky Web. Okay. Great damage by me. I might even outspeed it here. I'll just pick it up. Okay. Life Orb. Okay. Now, I do have one strategy. I do have my... That took uh, that took damage, by the way. I want to be able to tear a ground Basque Legion. That's what I want to be able to do. Okay. Come on. Ah, uh, five hit. Unlucky. Well, we have a true speed tie here. 405 into 405. Okay, we win that speed tie. Now, my game winning play is going to be using Terra Ground on the Miraidon's Electro Drift. That's how I win the game. So let's give up Coridon on like a tribe bait the Terra. They're Calm Mind, which I guess makes sense to be honest. But. So they do have Dragon Pulse. I also have a speed tie to win versus Miraidon. Okay, now here's the thing. If I Terra, I don't faint so this must be like Calm Mind Agility, but they're going to Terrestrialize Fairy, I think. I could Terra Fire Flare Blitz here, and this is getting tricky. I, so Dragon Pulse does not knock me out. That's one thing for sure. The question, if I if I Terra, if I Terra, it doesn't knock me out. Do I expect them to Terra Fairy? I think I know what I'm going to do, but I want to keep my Terra Ground for Basque Legion. That's my problem. Yeah, Dragon Pulse will knock out Basque Legion. Well, I have to think that Miraidon is going to Terra Fairy here. There's no other thing left for it to do. I, I'm too low ladder to be making these decisions. Now I have to win a speed tie. Okay, lucky me. Now I have Taunt. So their Basque Legion is not going to be able to do the deed because I can Taunt the agility. Oh, it's okay. okay. Well, I outspeed it now. I think I win. Well, it comes down to, Z to the Zacian here. Okay, Basque Legion, the strongest Pokemon in Ubers versus Zacian, the strongest Pokemon in Ubers from way before. Oh, they had Wild Charge, fortunate. 
This is turning out very badly. All right, let's go Rebombi. I don't know why. It, is it Taunt? It must be Taunt, yeah. Okay. I don't know if I get out of here the way I want to, but Power Gem, that's not good. Let's go to Necrozma. Taunt, Power Gem. I don't even know what Power Gem hits. Probably ho -Oh. Okay. Shadow Ball? Well, they're, no, no, they're, they're not specs, right? So I'm not even worried. They probably go Ting Lu, if anything. Okay, I'll just knock it out. Even better. They go to Ting Lu. I'm going to make an aggressive play Rebombi on Stealth Rock. There we go. Now we get our sticky web up for the Zacian and the Kyogre. Karidon in, free low kick. And if they go to Rayquaza, it's whatever. Yeah, perfect damage. Basque Legion wins now. Honestly feels more of a Basque Legion video than a Maridon video. They go to Kyogre. I outspeed unless it's Scarf. They went for... Ah, oh, they got it. Okay. Well, I suppose I can faint. Oh, they're going... Are they not... Are they going to Dragon Dance on me? Do not tell me they're trying to Dragon Dance here. Swords Dance? Okay. Well, okay. It has extreme speed almost definitely. I probably live. I mean, yeah, it's a Rayquaza, but I'm... Okay. Yep, that's how it goes. Get frozen, and I'm going to lose here. What I can hope is that it's an adamant nature, so my Basque Legion will outspeed it. But no, I have I have Terror Ghost. My bad. I didn't even notice I had Terror Ghost on it. That is why I have Terror Ghost for this Rayquaza stuff. Okay. I shouldn't have lost Karidon. I shouldn't have lost Karidon. Yeah, Karidon definitely could be alive right now and happy and healthy. But now what? Right? The Krozma. It's... Heavy duty boots, okay? Honestly, Basque Legion wins. I'm just gonna taunt to prevent any, you know, shenanigans here. Yeah, let's Electro Drift. Now we go to Arceus Ground. And the only way to beat Arceus Ground is with Kyogre. But if you use Kyogre, then Basque Legion will get your will get its agility and win the game. Do not care, because now it's auto win with Basque Legion's last respects. Dodge doesn't matter, we just pick up everything. And like, you won't see Basque Legion get every KO. But the, the amount of pressure it put on the game where it was auto-win the minute they lost their normal type Pokemon. That's the idea behind Basque Legion. GG, 1365, let's keep going. Alright, this looks like a real team. They also have Giratina, so the Defog plays will have to be uh, something we watch out for. The, the Fairy Arceus is also annoying, I'll have to, because that Willow combination is annoying, I'll have to Terra Fire my Coridon. They don't have a normal type Pokemon. So my Basque Legion is probably good. I'll have to be careful about Terra Normal, but I think it's fine overall, the matchup. Okay, Rebombi into Coridon. This happens a lot, and I'm just gonna web. They Flare Blitz Raw. Okay. Again, I wanna keep I wanna keep it alive. I'm gonna go should I go Coridon? I'm gonna go Coridon. And I'm gonna I basically wanna keep a defog sack alive. Yeah. Predicted RC is fairy. Now we're gonna hit that hard. There we go, exactly how I wanted it into Giratina. They're going to give up their Defogger. Okay, oh, this is perfect. We've played it exactly how we wanted it to. We used up the early Terra, which you typically don't want to do, but we got such incredible value from it that it's perfectly fine. 47, burn, no earthquake, that's fine. We're going to bait it here with the Ice Beam. They go to Arceus Fairy, which I don't care about, because now we Earthquake. They go to Kyogre. This is why we kept Rebombi alive. Well, not exactly. We kept it for Giratina, but now we go Rebombi. All right, and let's Draco into Gliscor, easy predict. Now, they think they're going to set up win, but we have Taunt. As easy as you like it, let's U-turn. Arceus Ground is fine. Yep, Earthquake, Earthquake, just spam it into everything now. There we go, easy win, relatively quick too, let's keep going. Uh-oh, we're fighting a Mousehold team with Pheasantipity. Well, here we go, they lead Chiyu. I would love to stun Spore, I think it's Scarf. It's not, okay. I probably just be ha I'm just happy with damage. I don't need to paralyze it. Okay. The question is now what? It feels like it could be the Maridon show. Well, it's funny. The mouse hold's annoying for Basque Legion. Annoying, but not terrible because Wave Crash Oko's it, but just annoying. I can't go to Arce Arceus wins. Like, the ground type defeats everything. Uh, let's just be careful about it. Let's keep it, keep it calm. Keep it easy. I think we've played them before already, too. Okay, we'll take rid get rid of Chiyu. Now, probably, I would think Groudon comes in. They go to Maridon. They have to be uh, baiting in the Terra, right? I mean, that's what I'd, I I think. Um, either way, I'm just gonna go Necrozma. Okay, that, that something happened there. Uh, I probably outspeed. I'm gonna dra Dragon Dance in case they go hard Groudon. I don't know what this person is doing. They go to Necrozma. I have my Earthquake to go in. That lived. I probably outspeed. Yep. Okay. Now. I'm going to get hit by the Precipice Blades. Do I turn into a uh, a Psychic-type to just avoid it completely? I might. I will, in fact. 
73. Not enough, but kind of did a lot. Yeah, I think we're well covered versus, well, Maridon and the, is that Focus? No, it died. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ar Arceus Ground is the best Pokemon here. Literally threatens Oko on Mousehold. Yep. There we go. One more and we got it. Let's keep going. 1394 ELO right now. There is a criticism of the, the suspect test requirements that a lot of it is literally just playing games through low ladder instead of high, high tournament play. And the rebuttal to that is you want it to be open to everyone. Fundamentally, the idea is that, you know, power to the people, right? Everyone should be able to vote. So everyone needs an equal venue to vote. And through all the trial and error, different methods, typically it comes down to the idea that, you know what? The ladder requirement tests are pretty good for fairness and they lead to a good enough result. Don't tell me they're going to taunt. They do taunt. Okay. That's annoying. They have defog. Why would they have a defogger and a taunter? I don't quite believe that's a good strategy. They go Groudon now, so I'm going to get good damage into it. Yeah, 38 is fine. I have to think. I really need my sticky web, but I also want damage on Groudon to open up Necrozma. I'm just going to go for it. It open up RCs too. I'm just going to go for it. Okay. T-Wave dodge. That was perfect. Now we get sticky web. I don't know what they were trying to do. Like, generally speaking, there are better ways to deal with Rebombi than losing, you know, 75% of your HP on your you know, specially defensive, weak Pokemon. Okay, webs go up, they fire punch. That's fine. Now, I have to be mindful about giving up the defog to Giratina. So I don't want to be doing that. First, we go to Coridon. Now, if they go hard Giratina, I don't know what to make of it. They go Fluttermane. I don't know what to make of Fluttermane either. Are they Terra Rock? No. Now, Giratina's kind of free. But here's the thing. Basque Legion already wins. If they Terra Fairy, they have no other Terras left. Well, I guess... They do have their Terra left. Thank you, Coridon. But if they Terra Fairy, they no longer have a way to stop Basque Legion. Okay, Miraidon, you need to critical hit. Okay, this Giratina has uh, changed the game. I'll be honest. I'm gonna, I hope they have Willow. Yep, okay. They could have Shadow Sneak too. I'm just gonna agility. Here we go. We should have Oko threats into everything now. There we go. They go to Ho-Oh. Should I bait the Terra? We'll substitute one time for Brave Bird Recoil. They have Whirlwind? Oh no. Well, we're still fine. Sticky Web, activate. Now, here's the thing. Stone Edge is a KO, but it's Stone Edge. I'm going to go for it. They outspeed? That's Scarf. But because it's Scarf, Basque Legion sets up on that. The Water Typing. And this is kind of why you want Sticky Web, even though on its agility already. Now, don't tell me it's Terra Normal. Do not tell me it's Terra Normal. Terra Electric, that's fine. It's not Focus Ash confirmed, and Basque Legion will clean it up from here. There's one, and here's two. The last respects sweep at the end. All right, let's keep going. All right. Another Giratina, but they have Sneasler, which I don't know what it does. Oh, is it going to fake out? I mean, if it, even if it fake outs me, I can't get shield. I have shield dust to protect me. Arceus Fire is very interesting. It looks like an entire team of Pokemon that loses to Basque Legion, but I'll have to be careful. They are higher than me on the ladder. 1492. I mean, not particularly impressive, no offense, but higher than me is what I mean to point out. So at least I know this person is real. Rebombi into Necrozma. I always sticky web. If they get Stealth Rock, they do. That's fine. Okay, this is good. Oh, Lumberry. Okay. Well, Lumberry is interesting. Well, I'm going to always do it again. Well, Rebombi, you are not going to do it again. Now I'm in trouble. I didn't expect Lum. Not expect Lum. The good thing is you it fast tracks my Basque Legion win if I lose all my Pokemon. But... Shadow Sneak Giratina makes it a little bit annoying. I have to think there's a Terra Normal on their team that's too weak otherwise. Hmm. Go to Necrozma. Back to Rebombi. Okay. That I didn't think they would give Necrozma up that easily, but we'll take it. Go Maridon. They defog. Do you think they have Shadow Sneak? They might. Go Necrozma on Draco. Okay. I have to think it has Shadow Sneak. Yeah, defog Draco Poltergeist and definitely Shadow Sneak. Well, Draco, they, sh they don't have a ground type. Yeah, so I want to be able to taunt... Necrozma now. That's a lot of damage for an unresisted attack. Can't Trick Room. I don't want to Electro Drift. I want to get Sticky Web. I'm not sure how though. I mean, Electro Drift is a two-hit KO. Doesn't do a lot of damage to me. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind staying in front of things here. 21. Okay. I'm going to Draco. But I kind of value Miraidon too. I have to think it's Scarf Coridon. This type of team. It'll be Scarf Coridon. No, it's not. Well, I always go to Arceus Ground here. I'd get the knockout, but then what? Okay, we're in a bit of trouble. Now, Arceus Fire looking at me is quite scary. 
66. Is that Dragon Dance? Flare Blitz. Okay. Do you think it has extreme speed? Well, if even if it does, I always sticky web. Okay. Now, I don't believe it'll be low kick. Okay. Now, how do you stop Coridon? You go to Maridon. Okay. I'm going to scale shot. Okay. Do I get through? Probably not. Oh, uh, they have agility. Okay. Do they Dragon Pulse you? No, but I'm... Oh, it's a speed tie. It's a speed tie, but I'm going to Terra out of my Dragon Weakness. Okay. Sneasler. Oh, Electric Seed. Of course. No, but I outspeed it. I'm literally faster than it. Okay. Now Shadow Sneak will annoy me. And I, I'd have to think it has Shadow Sneak. Or Extreme Speed. Okay. Do I go hard Basque Legion to keep it alive? No, I don't risk it. I think I'm winning. The question is, do I Agility here? I think I just raw attack two times here. Okay. And I believe I outspeed. Yep, there we go. It did have Shadow Sneak. There we go. Basque Legion cleans up. That was a big win, ELO perspective. Now we're 1431. Okay. Now we're fighting into... Iron Treads, there's Chan Pao for Basque Legion, which I have Substitute for, so their Sucker Punch isn't that impactful, but definitely interesting. Yeah. Arceus into Iron Treads. They activate Booster Energy. I'm just... So I have to be careful, because that Ice and Dark is going to be tricky for... Because Necrozma, my Steel-type Pokemon, is weak to Dark. Okay? What is this trying to do? Can I Dragon Dance on it? I can Dragon Dance on it, and I can Stone Edge the Rayquaza. This is a perfect lead, if I can hit Stone Edge. There we go. Easy. Now, what's next? Maybe unaware Skeledurge to try and burn me. But if I force Skeledurge, they go to Chan Pao immediately, which I outspeed and knock out Focus Sash. Okay. That's good, getting rid of its Focus Sash. If it has Ice Shard, it has Ice Shard. It does. Okay. Now, I'm thinking here that that's a fast Pokemon. I think I go Ribombi. Do I Sticky Web or do I just get rid of it? Get rid of it and then be happy. Because I'm. If I get rid of Chan Pao, there's no stopping Basque Legion. It's game over. Yep, they do go Iron Treads. Okay. Do I want a Stun Spore? Okay, that was greedy, admittedly. I don't think... Well, to be careful, it it could have Sucker Punch. It very well could. I'm going to go for it again. Okay, got it. Go Coridon now. That did a lot. Into Skeledurge. If you get a 5 hit, you beat Skeledurge. So it's kind of one of those things you try to see if you can get it. If you don't get it, fine. But you try to do it. Leftovers, not Heavy Duty Boots. Okay. Always Miraidon. They recover. You always U-turn predicting the Iron Tread switch. There we go. Now Necrozma or Coridon. I think Necrozma's fine. You just want to rip, you want to threaten the, the power output into it, even if they earth power. Okay, are they earth powering? Interesting. Now I earthquake. So they give up the Pokemon that beats Miraidon. That makes me comfortable. They give up the sticky web Pokemon too. So if I get that up, also comfortable. I have to think they have the sucker punch move. They don't? Good. They were hoping they outsped me by the looks of it. Photon Geyser ignores unaware. Cool 73. Willow Dodge is perfect. Wait, could they be Trick Room? Do I want to hit into Trick Room? Like, Trick Room, you know, weakness policy. Oh man, I'm about to choke into Trick Room weakness policy. Necrozma. Let's get damage into it. Okay. They Dragon Danced there, but I knock it out. I go Coridon. They don't have their Terra left. I go for Scale Shot Speed Tie. If I don't get it, well, I do get it, but if I don't, then I have my Terra Ground, Basque Legion, etc., etc. All right, we get the win. Let's keep on moving. Let's see if we can hit it in 30 games instead of, you know, it's a range, 30 to 50 and above. Let's see if we can hit it in 30 exactly. We're fighting someone else on the ladder. They have Corviknight and they have Terra Fairy Arceus, which is cool. What's my e what's my GXE right now? 81.3. So if we get a win here, it'd probably be big. Sticky Web is obvious. They know it's coming. They don't really look good versus Basque Legion. They have Ting Lu, but other than that, it's probably fine. Eternatus outspeeds me. Stun Spore is greedy. Do I really want to greed? I think it's fine to greed here. Is it fine to greed? What if it's subs- Nah, it's not fine to greed. I, I get Sticky Web up and I I back my ride on to keep it up with Taunt. But it will be tricky late game. Yeah, I'm not going to greed. Okay. I outsped the Eternatus there, which is interesting. So it is modest or it's very, very bulky, which I have to be uh, even more scared about. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's a very, like, probably physically defensive Eternatus. Okay. They're gonna let me paralyze Corviknight. Yeah, they're they're giving up too much para, I think. They roost. It's U-turn. Actually, I could Draco, too, to be honest. But, okay. 37. U-turn to negate leftovers here. Nice critical hit. Into Rabombi. Rocks go up. I have Moonblast. The timing of that is actually good for me. Because now Electric Terrain will run out, and then I can go back to Maridon now. And this is kind of how Maridon can dominate a game. It just takes over. They go hard Eternatus. I'm threatening Draco. Yep. 
It's kind of prediction reliant when there's a lot of ground type Pokemon, but look at that damage. Got it, and we have Taunt to keep things from getting out of control. Let's, for now, okay, so we have to be careful. Get that U-turn. We'll lose Rebombi, don't need it. They Calm Mind. I go Coridon. It's obvious what I'm what I'm hinting here, that I'm going to Flare Blitz, but I don't think it, you can stop it. 64. Yep. And now we shoot one more. It's Terra, if it's Terra Water, Maridon beats it. So you kind of have to switch. And then you lose your momentum. Your Arceus Fairy is weakened very bad very quickly. And too many Pokemon get paralyzed. Yeah, now you lose to Maridon. I could Draco predicting Ting Lu, but I kind of don't need to. I can Electro Drift and then U turn the next turn. Even though it's kind of obvious they are going to Ting Lu. Uh, but should, should I make the predict for the love of the game? I will. They said Ball don't lie, but it definitely did there. Okay. Now, uh, Basque Legion's already winning. I'm just going to Draco. We'll taunt it. Now, I believe it's early enough to go for it. They've already given up the Terra. I mean, you could argue I should wait a little longer, but I think it's fine. Substitute on Toxic, and we should be looking good. Yep, there we go. And, ooh, that didn't get it KO. Interesting. Well, now it's just going to knock out everything, but interesting that that didn't get a KO. Maybe I should have waited for 250 or 300. 200 wasn't good enough. 300, like 200 times 1.5 wasn't good enough. Yeah, Ting Lu in. Maybe they can like protect stall, but Wave Crash always picks up. They have to literally go for like recoil stalling. And even then, you still have to deal with my other Pokemon. Yeah, because now I last respects and you can't recoil stall that. Yep, there we go. There we go. And the final two friends of Basque Legion ready to go down. There we go. Got it. All right, and now we're fighting a stall team. So this should be fun. Now, Sticky Web doesn't even do anything versus stall. Now, the Blissey is going to be annoying for Basque Legion. But Coridon, it's a powerful Pokemon. So I'm going to be careful with how I do it. Let's lead Rebombi. We'll get a Stun Spore off. Yeah, just make things... Uh, make life difficult. Now, one thing to be careful, Necrozma ignores Unaware. So I can potentially Terra Psychic my way through the entire team. Let's... Sticky Web won't matter. Maybe it'll mat matter for Groudon. That's why we'll get it up. Our Necrozma. And let's see if, you know, Necrozma can rip through. Okay. It's Boots on that. Okay. Do you think it's Willow? Should I scout for Willow? Or should I be happy with just raw damage in? L let's play a little patiently. It is Willow, yeah. Go Clodzire, go Necrozma again. Now Spikes are adding up too. Now, the key is that the Groudon doesn't have a recovery move. 60 on crit, okay. That means my my normal damage there would have been, what? 40, right? I don't want to give up my Dragon Dance right now. I'll have to wait a little bit. Man, Stealth Rock too. Okay, are they just going to try layers? Get layers up here? Maybe they are. All right, now let's take a look. They go to Gliscor, which will faint. The Unaware Destroyer. I guess they predicted that. Ignores Unaware, doing what, 70 maybe? 72. Beautiful. No, 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 that's not good enough, Dondozo. Okay, now Skeletor is going to be the next victim, and we're doing so much damage that I'm pretty sure we win automatically now. All right, we're going to get the win because they left the game. They were obviously going to lose that, so they decided to leave instead of forfeit. Now we're 1495. What's our... Let's check that. Okay, we're fighting a real team now. Oh, they're 1702. This is a high ranking player. We're 83.1 GXZ right now. So they know what's up. So I'm going to lead Rabombi into Arceus. Do you think it's Taunt? Even if it's Taunt, I don't care too much, do I? That was strong. That's Silk Scarf by the looks of it. Okay. So I'm going to play with webs up. I have to be careful about denying the Trick Room to Calrix. But otherwise, I'm fine. Okay, that is annoyingly strong. Yep, there we go. Easy. Now, I could 50 again, but they're probably recovering out of this, right? Let's go to Coridon. Okay. Now, I like Terrifier Flare Blitz. I think it's a good move. Is it too good? Is it too early for it? It's not too early for it. Okay. Now what? Grimmsnarl with Reflect? And I'm very happy that we kept the Rebombi Sacrifice around. That's going to be helpful. I have to be careful about, you know, extreme speed. That's sil uh, Silk Scarf by the looks of it, so I have to be careful about how that goes too. I don't want to get into too much trouble versus it. But the fact that I got normal down to 50 is good for Basque Legion. Critical hit is uh, obviously interesting, but now I run into issues with Trick Room. So I think I have enough sacrifices to be healthy around it. Let's go Maridon in case they want to get greedy. Swords, Jans, and then Trick Room. Or, yeah. Yep, they got a little greedy, and we're going to punish that. No Trick Room for you. Yeah, even if you do that, that's fine, because the main thing is denying Trick Room. Earthquake for damage, then we Earthquake again, and the Trick Room is not... We have a lot of physical attackers into Reflect, which is annoying, but obviously it's totally fine. I mean, we did crit Grimmsnarl, so... Okay, now we go to Arceus Ground here. Okay, they go to their Arceus Normal here. I 
I guess I kind of understand wanting to preserve there, but okay. Now we have the speed advantage. Okay, pick that up too. Now the Calric show is back here, but they go Coridon. I have Ice Beam for this situation. Or should I deny the problem? Actually, I think this is fine. Yeah, maybe it's not fine. I mean, no, it is fine. It is fine. Yeah. Arceus ground, pick up, and then this should be clear. There's no way Calyrex can live in Arceus ground dragon dance too. No terrestrialization remaining. We outspeed. There we go. And this should be finished off. GG, we did get the crit. Now we move up to 1526. So hopefully it means we have one more game left. Hopefully it means only one more game. All right, we're in what I hope is the final game. We're, we need to finish with 83, 83 GXE at 30 games. We're 84.3 at 29. If we lose here, I don't know how far we drop, but just something to keep in mind. Uh, Deoxys speed. I'm going to pounce it in case they want to taunt. Typically, they taunt lead, right? Okay. That's allegedly super effective. Okay. Okay, this is good. We're going to be able to get Sticky Web up next turn. I, They could have extreme speed, but I'm hoping they don't. I don't think they do. I don't think you would run that on speed on attack maybe but not on speed it would it's only useful in like the deoxys mirror matchup but that's not too common because deoxys speed isn't that good yep there we go and now we can sticky web overall a really good trade for what we're trying to do always sticky web this could be like agility meteor beam calm mind don't worry about that okay let's lower that speed is it leftovers what's going on are they gonna calm mind to full i feel like that's not a threat to me at least i'm lowering their special attack I think this is fine, but I could also be completely wrong, and this is actually really bad. Oh, there could be Terra Fairy with Moonblast. Well, if everything fails, at least I have Basque Legion to auto-win at the end. I'm just going to guaranteed Flare Blitz. 31, Moonblast, that's fine. Do I Terra Ground here? I don't Terra Ground here. I mean, obviously lucky, but bound to happen, etc, etc. You know, 30 games of playing with, you know, Stun Spore. I hit some, I miss some, you know, okay. Now I believe it's Kyogre's time to shine. I don't think they have a Terra Normal anywhere. So Basque Legion's already looking good. Even Maridon looks good. I'm just going to Earthquake. Hopefully they try and... No, they don't. They're, they are Choice Scarf. So I'm going to have a free Electro Drift into hopefully anything I want. But I could be very close to choking the game here. They Dracoed and now I auto win with my Agility Basque Legion. Yeah, that wouldn't have KO'd. Skadoosh and we're going to hit all three of them. Kyogre, gone, everything dies in one hit. Nothing can live a Basque Legion. Yep. And Zacian 2, thank you, good night. And we should be done with our Rex. Let's check. We are done. 84.8 GXC, good enough for Rex. And let me double check that. And that is enough for Rex. I don't know what I'm going to vote. Honestly, Basque Legion won most of my games, but you could feel how threatening Maridon was too. Because when you look at Maridon, Every time it came in, it was basically threatening a 2 hit KO on every single Pokemon. Maybe not Iron Treads, but other than that, you were threatening 2 hit KOs. You had to predict right. You had to get Draco Meteor uh, on the right Pokemon too. And honestly, that's part of the game, right? Uh, playing around offensive Pokemon. Was it too offensive? I don't know. Especially when you consider the context of Ubers as a metagame. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know what I'll vote. But you guys watched all 30 games too. Why don't you tell me what you thought about Basque Legion and Maridon down in the comment section below. In any case, thank you for watching a 1 hour 30, 2 hour video. And yeah, hope to see you guys next time. Let me know if I should make more of this type of content.